and one person put a comment in there and uh, he or she says observational theories deal with things that we are forced to deal with in our daily lives supernatural theories deal with that uh, for which there is no evidence of any kind and yeah that uh, kind of introduces some of the subject that we're going to deal with today now supernatural theories are not um, are not dependent on evidence that's not the issue okay under rational science supernatural theories are theories where the entity invoked is imaginable you know you invoke zeus Zeus is imaginable. I hope you can imagine Zeus. I mean, we've got pictures of Zeus everywhere. So good old Zeus, uh, he's okay as an object. I mean, uh, uh, you know, when you put a picture of a god, you know, holding maybe a, uh, uh, what is it, a, um, a thunderbolt in his right arm throwing it, we can all imagine that. What we cannot imagine is some of the magical uh, mechanisms that people introduce together with the gods of mythology or even a, of any of the traditional religions. The problem there is, you know, uh, okay, we'll get to that. <laughs> uh, I'll get to the questions at the end, okay? So uh, hold your questions or write them down. I'm going to go through them later on. I'll try to answer them as many as I can within the uh, time frame. But uh, if I don't get to answer them, what I'll look at, what I do usually is look at them and then answer them uh, either at the next session or I'll answer them in Patreon, okay? So if, if you've got questions, no problem, just put them up there. Anyways, uh, a supernatural theory has to do with the theory, not, not with, the, with the entity. The entity is okay, I have no problem with God. You wanna introduce God and say, God created the universe, God created a flower. I have no problem with God. I have problem with how he created the flower. That's where I have a problem. <laughs> Uh, it's the mechanism that, that rational science criticizes, okay? So the difference is uh, with a uh, mathematical theory, mathematical physics, is the mathematical f theory cannot even be imagined. You cannot imagine the objects. And the reason for that is they're using concepts as objects. They're talking about field. They're talking about energy. They're talking about mass. All those are concepts. You cannot say mass did this, energy did that, a field did that. That's where the problem is. Or time was bent. You know, it's unimaginable. That's why uh, a supernatural theory differs from an irrational theory, the ones from mathematical physics, because yeah, you cannot imagine the, uh, in, in irrational theories, you cannot even imagine the entity that's performing the motion. Okay, that's where the problem is. And I'm going to be talking about that a little bit today, just for those who uh, are not aware, I'm going to be on JFG's, JF Gariepi's uh, program, the public space, in about three hours, four hours. Uh, so I'll be talking a little bit about that. The subject today over there is space time. So if you're interested in space time, well, you know, you may want to hang in there and uh, you know, see me in about three or four hours. Anyways, the, that's the difference between rash, uh, irrational theories and supernatural theories. Supernatural theories, you can imagine the objects that perform the action, the gods or the spirits or whatever, they, they put them as an angel or whatever, okay. Uh, irrational theories, they're using concepts as physical objects and you cannot imagine a concept, you know, love uh, moving a mountain. No, I cannot imagine that at all. I can't even imagine love before you move the mountain with love. That's the problem.